Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder is Gaming here. Not exactly. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder is Gaming here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to download the custom Elytra skin mod on Xbox One. So if you guys want custom Elytra, uh, by the way, it's a whole pack that comes with demon wings, insect wings, angel wings, phoenix wings, beetle wings, invisible wings. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe if you are new. Uh, and enjoy my content. I will continue uploading this for a while. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see the wings in action, go ahead and watch the mod showcase I am about to perform right now. But if you want to skip to the tutorial, you can skip to the tutorial with the timestamp provided on screen so yeah if you guys want to not watch the showcase and see what they look like go ahead and skip if you do not want to see what they look like all right guys so uh as you can see i am wearing the angel wings right now and uh honestly they look pretty freaking dope like already 100 percent better than the normal gray boring elytra let's be honest they could have made them look cooler but you know Minecraft, they wanted to keep it simple. You have two rectangle blocks on your back. But with this uh, tutorial, you will be able to get angel wings, demon wings, dragon wings, green dragon wings, insect wings, dragonfly wings, etc. So I'm going to be showing the first one that I'm showing to you guys in action is the D angel wings. And as you can see, it still works just like any other elytra. Boom. They look real, real cool, to be honest. I love these. And it, I, I bet, like, if your friends were in your world and they were looking at you flying around like this, they'd be like, what the hell, brother? What is this witchery? But yeah, that is the angel wings. These right here are the demon wings. And honestly, like I said with the angel wings, already 100% better than any... Elytra you're gonna find in Minecraft uh, So, you know for those of you that want to be angels or for those of you that want to be demons There is a skin for everyone Very weird saying that to be honest. It didn't feel right <laughs> But right here boom demon wings. They look real cool. They're kind of like dragon wings only more demonic, I guess um but yeah, that, those are the demon wings. These right here are the dragonfly wings. Uh, they're the most insect-like wings you're going to find on this list, to be honest. Um, so for those of you that ever wanted to look like a bug flying in the sky. Okay, you know what? There's a couple uh, skin packs that you could purchase on Minecraft that actually you're, you look like a bug. So imagine wearing this with like a bug skin. Honestly, that would be pretty disgusting. These right here are the green dragon wings. And, yeah, now, who, who, honestly, I don't know. This one might be my personal favorite. Not sure at the moment, to be honest. Uh, a lot of these are awesome. All of them are awesome. Uh, but, yeah, these are the green dragon wings. All right, guys, so <laughs> last but not least, make sure to hit the like button if you guys are hyped for this elytra. The invisible elytra. Just kidding. You guys really thought there was an invisible? Psych! There is! Invisible elytra incoming! Honestly, I would use this in a let's play. It looks like I'm, f I'm flying around like Superman, bro. Like I'm Goku or something or Krillin or like fucking... Oh my god, I don't know, bro. Since I'm creative mode, I could just hold A to like start flying up again. But dude, this is literally the coolest thing ever I have ever seen in Minecraft. Bro, have you ever wanted to be a Dragon Ball character that could fly around? Imagine wearing the freaking Goku skin. Or like the Vegeta skin or like the Vegito skin or like whatever dude man. Oh man, this is so cool bro. Honestly. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed the mod showcase, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. 
turn on notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new showcase. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Real quick before I get into this tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know if you need any help downloading, installing, using, troubleshooting, anything with this uh, texture pack slash mod, uh, just make sure to join my Discord if you guys need help because that is the number one place where you can get help for this uh, tutorial uh, so in any of my tutorials actually so if you had any problems in the past with any other tutorial just join my discord they'll help you out I have a team of admins mods and they are awesome you might even meet your next best friend on there who knows man you, you know how crazy the internet is all right so uh, invite to my discord in the description by the way so the first step in this tutorial is to push the middle button and then go all the way to the right and press a on settings uh, once you're in settings, sorry if you guys could hear the rain. Sounds like it started raining outside. Uh, so once you're in settings, on the left side you go down to display and sound. Click on video output. Once you click on video output in the center, you will see something that says video fidelity and overscan. Go ahead and press A on that. On the way right, you're going to see something that says apps can add a border. Go ahead and make sure that there is no check mark inside of here. There will be a check mark by default boom that's what it looks like with the check mark boom that's what it looks like without the check mark uh, so yeah the reason you want to get rid of this check mark is because you will not be able to install this mod uh, without getting rid of this check mark so if you want to use uh, this uh, custom elytra pack make sure to get rid of that check mark the next thing you want to do is make sure that you have all four of these apps downloaded one of them is called file downloader the second one is called file explorer the third one is called microsoft edge and the fourth one is called ufo.transfer you can find ufo.transfer and file downloader both inside of the microsoft store the same way you would download any other app and if you do not have file explorer i don't know what else to say man for me and everyone else it should be on your xbox by default so let's say you bought a new xbox it should be on there automatically but uh just letting you guys know if you're having trouble finding it yours might be a different color mine's is gray because my preference of color on my xbox is gray yours might be blue yours might be yellow yours might be green yours might be red it all depends on what you chose your preference color to be on your profile on xbox one so once you make sure you have all four of these apps go ahead and open up microsoft edge and navigate yourself to this website right here mcpedl.com i repeat mcpedl.com once you're on this website what you want to do is go to the top right and press a on that magnifying glass and then start typing e l y t r a elytra e l y t r a once you type that in go ahead and press the pause button aka the button went to three lines and it should begin searching uh, once this page comes up uh, in the future it might not be the same just uh, go down all the way to the part where it says uh, next page right here press a on next page and then right here you will see uh, Paradiscos Elytra Wings Pack. Uh, by the way, if you guys want any of the packs, uh, Elytras from this pack right here, this tutorial would probably work for it as well. But the one that I'm going to show you how to get, you need to scroll down a little bit farther. This one right here. And in my opinion, this one has the coolest, the most awesome looking Elytra custom uh, wings in it. Uh, it comes with 15. So once you find this one right here, go ahead and press A on it. And once it's done loading, uh, it has a detailed de description of, you know, the creator. Uh, and then right here, boop, lets you know what's in the pack. And right here, the creator is Lemon Cake. Uh, uh, last updated, it was 2016. But, uh, you know, this will work on Xbox, don't worry. Um, so this is the Purple Beetle Wings. The... Macaw, green wing macaw, the green beetle wings, 
the fried chicken wings. <laughs> that, that's pretty funny. Let's be honest. Guys, you can fly with fried chicken wings on your back. That's actually pretty hilarious. And then right here, the eagle wings and the red dragon wings. These look dope. And then right here, the angel wings. These also look real awesome. Uh, the phoenix wings, which also look dope. And I like this one a lot for some reason, and the green dragon wings. And the golden beetle wings, the fairy wings, the dragonfly wings. This one kind of looks like a dragonfly's wings or like a normal fly's wings or just insect wings in general. Demon wings, which let's be honest, I know a lot of you are going to be getting this one right here. And then uh, the transparent slash invisible wings. This one's pretty cool because it makes it look like you're Superman just flying around. And underneath the transparent slash invisible wings, right here you will see something that says, do you rather download the wings as a zip file? Get it here. Go ahead and press A on that text. And once you press A on that text, it will open a Mediafire link. And on the right, you will see a rectangle that is green that says download. Go ahead and hover over that rectangle. Your cruiser will turn blue with a hand pointing. Go ahead and pr press the pause button while hovering over it, aka the button with the three lines on your controller. And then right here, when this menu pops up, you want to press A on copy link. Next, what you want to do is open up the other app that I told you to make sure to have downloaded called File Downloader. Once File Downloader is done loading, at the top left you will see a square with three lines. Go ahead and press A on that square. And then you want to press A on From URL. After you press A on From URL, you need to press A on Local Storage. Boom. After you press A on local storage, you will see a huge rectangle that says enter or paste it here. What you want to do is you want to hover over that rectangle that says enter or paste it here and then press the pause button aka the button with the three lines. And if this comes up, don't worry. Uh, just push B and then move your left analog down and it should bring up the paste button. Or if it already brought it up, go ahead and press A to paste. Once that button comes up and on the way right side of your screen, you'll see a circle with a arrow pointing downwards. Go ahead and press A on that circle. After you press A on that circle, at the bottom center, you will see a rectangle that says start. Go ahead and press A on that rectangle to begin the download. Uh, just letting you know, this does come with a bunch of cool skins. So. I'm not sure if it's a big file, but it does come with a bunch of cool skins. So once it's done downloading, at the top left, you want to press A on the three lines again, and then press A on storage. And then you want to press A on uh, local storage. Once you're in here, you want to go ahead and open up the custom Elytra updated zip folder. Boom. After you press A on it, you want to go to the bottom right and press A on the symbol that looks like three lines, two check marks, and a square. And then to the left of it, you want to press A on the symbol that looks like a paper pointing to a paper. After you press A on both of those in the exact order that I told you to, uh, go ahead and push B to go back. And once you're back in here, you want to go to the bottom right and press A on the clipboard icon. Boom. Once you press A on that, it will begin the pasting process uh, and it will paste everything that was inside of the custom Elytra updated zip uh, file into here. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the other app that I told you to make sure you have downloaded called UFO.transfer. Once UFO.transfer is done loading, at the top left, if you do not see this gear icon, that means that you skipped step one of the tutorial. Go ahead and rewind to the beginning of the tutorial to find out what step one is. Or if you already see it, go ahead and press A on that gear icon. And then on the left side, you will see a rectangle that says open in file explorer. Go ahead and press A on that rectangle. And what this does is it gives you access to a certain folder inside of file explorer that you normally cannot access without ufo.transfer. So once you're in here, you want to go to the top and press A on packages. 
once you press A on packages, you want to go ahead and go into megascopes.universal file. Uh, it is a folder. So it has a bunch of numbers in the beginning. Yours might be on the left. Yours might be on the right. Yours might be lower. Yours might be higher. But once you find the megascopes.universal file folder in this area, go ahead and press A to open it up and then go into local state. And then right here, you will see all of the cool Elytra skins. Uh, so this method, uh, I'm only going to show you myself moving one of them, but you can move any of the ones that you want into the next folder. So any of the ones that you plan on using, move those. Don't move the ones that I'm moving just because you're trying to be safe. Uh, all of these will work so just if you want the fried chicken wings go ahead and press the pause button and then cut but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do the invisible ones so go ahead and hover over the one that you want and then press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and then press cut after you press cut on the one that you want go to the top again and press a on packages Next, you want to find a folder called Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console. I apologize for the police. Someone must have done something wrong. Either that's ambulances or policemen chasing someone. Who knows? But, like I said, you go back into packages and then you want to find this folder. Okay? It's in the same area where the uh, Megascopes folder is. It's just going to be somewhere beneath it. Uh, mine's is on the left, yours might be on the right, yours might be higher, yours might be lower, but mine's is right here. So once you find your Microsoft.Minecraft EWP console folder, go ahead and open it up, and then go into Local State, Games, Mojang, and then right here, if you do not have a resource underscore packs folder, you need to create one by going to the bottom right and pressing A on the icon that looks like a play paper with a plus symbol. Boom. Once you press A on that symbol, type in resource underscore packs and then go ahead and press OK. It needs to be spelled exactly like my folder or else it will not work. So I cannot stre stress that enough. You will not be able to use it if you misspell this folder. So once you have this folder or if you already had it, go ahead and open it up and then go to the bottom right and press A on the clipboard icon, boom, and it should paste the Elytra skin into here. So let's go ahead and try to find it, boom. The one that I moved in was the invisible one and the folder was called invisible. So uh, like I said, I'm going to do all the other ones off camera, but that is how you move the Elytras into the correct location. Next, what you want to do is open up Minecraft and then I will show you how to equip it and use it properly. Once your Minecraft is done loading, what you want to do is go ahead and press play and then go to the world where you want to equip your custom Elytra onto. Press the pencil to the right of the world. Once you press A on that pencil, uh, let it load and then go down to resource packs. And right here, as you can see, I went ahead and moved all of them. So I have all of them installed on my Xbox. I have the Phoenix, Purple, Red, Eagle, Fairy, Dragonfly, Fried Chicken, Green Beetle, Golden Beetle, Green Wing, Macau, uh, Invisible Wings, Angel Wings, Dragon wi Demon Wings right here dragon wings green dragon wings i went ahead and showed a couple of them in my sh mod showcase if you want to go ahead and rewind to the beginning of the video and watch that uh yeah go ahead and do so uh but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and equip the green wing macaw wing textures as an example boom go ahead and press a and then press the plus symbol and uh, if you're going to be wearing shaders like i am just make sure that it is underneath the shaders like this in between any texture packs that you're wearing. As a matter of fact, I went ahead and equipped the Pure BD Craft. So this is the order that it should be in when wearing uh, a texture pack or a shader. Make sure that the uh, Elytra is over the texture pack and make sure the Elytra is underneath the shader. Uh, so it, 
a lot of people have been wondering, hey, how do I get uh, 64, 64, or 100, 100? If you guys purchased a texture pack from the Minecraft store, what you want, gotta do is go ahead and press A on that texture pack. Press A on these gear icons, and then right here, you could change the resolution. And if you have an Xbox One X, I'm assuming you could put 255 pixels by 255 pixels. But right now, I'm going to be using the PRBD Craft uh, texture pack that I purchased with my money. Uh, so you can have it 32, 32, 64, 64, or 128, 128. I'm going to put it at 128. And yeah, that's how you guys change the resolution in texture packs that you bought if they have the uh, option. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and press play, load the world up. And once the world loads, you should have the custom Elytra skin on as long as you have Elytras. And can I just say, like, I love the loading screen for this um, Pure BD craft. It looks so dope. As you guys can see, I have on my custom Elytra pack uh, or skin. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video. Uh, so yeah, this has been the custom Elytra. Oh, <laughs> if I was in survival, I would have died right there. This has been the custom Elytra tutorial. Uh, so yeah, share it with all of your friends uh, because not a lot of people know that stuff like this is possible on Xbox One. Uh, so yeah. Oh, dude, I need to fly in between these mountains. I need to. That's just... I'm sorry, guys. I need to do this. I hope you guys don't mind. I was about to end the video, but no, 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 no. This is a very beautiful mountain, and it, it needs to be flown in between. It just, it's calling my name. I'm going to go up as high as I can. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. You guys ready? Oh, man. I hope I don't fuck up. Oh, bro. I love that mountain. I absolutely love this mountain. I don't, okay, guys. I'm going to shut up about the mountain but if you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new turn on notifications to be notified whenever i go live or upload a new video in the future it has been your boy elder wizard gaming and i'll see you guys next time peace